Last but not least, day three of 3D Experience World 2021. It's been quite a week with lots of great information. How's it going everyone? My name is Matthew Fontana and I am an application engineer for Swift Solutions. And today we're going to be taking a quick glance at what went down on the third and final day of sessions. If you missed day one and day two, I'll post those recaps below. Alrighty, let's jump in. Just like yesterday, there was a chance to jump into some meetup sessions for networking. Then we jumped into our final general session of the week. During this, we heard from VP of Strategy and Business Development, Suchit Jain, talk about how technology is advancing faster than ever, allowing you to develop products more quickly than ever before. Then we got a quick shout out from Sean O'Neill and Dan Wagner, who gave some praise to the SolidWorks community for holding strong and staying connected in a year of virtual meetups. That led to an interview from the Senior Director of Education and Early Engagement, Marie Planchard, who spoke with well-known SOLIDWORKS users Eric Beattie and Paul Ventimiglia about how they got started with SOLIDWORKS and how Eric got started with teaching SOLIDWORKS. With such a focus on the rapid pace of development, it was only fitting that we got to hear from a couple of innovators who developed solutions at a rapid pace to help solve problems that arose with the current pandemic. First, we heard from Matt Carney, the co-founder of the Open Standard Respirator, talk about how he got to use his engineering knowledge for good and develop a better mask with people from all over with the help of the 3D Experience platform. Then we got to hear from Tej Patel from Flexergy, who had to innovate and iterate rapidly to develop scalable diagnostic testing. The design, manufacturing, lifecycle improvement, and even document control all use SOLIDWORKS, and they were able to utilize SOLIDWORKS PDM to help scale efficiently. After that, we had one final interview from Grant Delgatti, the Chair of Product Innovation at USC, with Nolan Bushnell, the founder and CEO of Atari and Chuck E. Cheese, and his son, Brent Bushnell, co-founder and chairman of 2-Bit Circus. Their interview focused primarily on entrepreneurship and what sparked the ideas for their incredible innovations. There was also some inspiration to focus on your confidence and optimism rather than fearing failure itself. Following this interview, Jean Paulo Bassi gave some closing words with a quick reminder of the 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS offers for students and makers coming soon. Plus, he also announced that 3D Experience World 2022 will be hosted in none other than Atlanta, Georgia. Following the general session today, there were a few breakout sessions that were rescheduled to today, but the primary portion of the time was provided for further meetups. You could find like-minded individuals and talk about all that exciting information you heard throughout the week. The day and week of activities for 3D Experience World 2021 rounded off with part three of the What's New skit, where we finally got a look at SOLIDWORKS 2022, so be sure to check that out if you weren't able to catch it already. This, along with all of the other content, will be available for on-demand replay for 30 days. Just head on over to 3dexperienceworld.com and register for free. Thanks so much for watching, and if you saw anything throughout the week that excited you, please reach out to us. We'd love to provide you with some more information and help determine what solution is right for you. I'll have our contact information below. Looking forward to seeing everyone in person next year in Atlanta, Georgia for 3D Experience World 2022.